All right, I think we're recording. So this is um, a little routine I have to do to prep myself for stem cell transplant. This is shots of Nupagen. This helps to increase stem cells. <laughs> so I have to give myself a shot in the fat of my belly, my choice. <laughs> See, <laughs> she's got a lot there now. <laughs> As you can see, I've done good. <laughs> it's not a baby, that's just... This is, I eat pretty well. <laughs> <laughs> and what I do is, I pinch a good size of fat. Use alcohol first. And I give myself a shot. This is a bit easy, like so. Like a dart. And it just goes in. <laughs> And it doesn't even hurt. <laughs> oh yeah, I can really feel it. <laughs> you can feel the stuff going in. Yeah. And then I take it out. <laughs> like so. Sometimes a little bit of piece of it comes out. <laughs> but that's normal. That's okay. <laughs> and sometimes a little blood comes out. If, if not, that's okay too. <laughs> but I always apply a little pressure. <laughs> <laughs> Just in case. <laughs> now I have to do this at 7 a.m. <laughs> Every day. Every day until they tell me not to. <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh. The end. <laughs> the end. <laughs> so we done? I think. But this is what I have to do. Do I want to do it? Absolutely not. <laughs> <laughs> but this is part of the journey. This is part of the treatment. When you have, well, I don't really have it, but when you've been diagnosed with multiple myeloma, to get rid of it for good. Yeah. <laughs> this is what I'm documenting from my book. <laughs> Coming out gold. My battle with multiple myeloma and how I kicked it in the butt. Oh my God, that's going to be hilarious. <laughs> and happy at the same time. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> like, to prep myself to take these, um... I'll take, I have to take two of these, so, which is about, they have 300 milligrams each, so that's 600 all together. Mm -hmm. And this is called Nupagen to help, uh, like, increase stem cell count so that when they start collecting, they have a whole bunch of cells to collect. <laughs> and truthfully, they're trying to collect, they're trying to collect a certain number. What number, I don't know, mm -hmm. but they try to do it in case they need to do this again. Lord so, Jesus, let's not be again. So, yeah, no kidding. So, these. Oh. Um, oh, let me see one. Okay. So, that's a shot. <laughs> With a little bit of needle. I can't even feel the needle go in now. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, it's clear. I was wondering if it was just like white stuff, but that's just the packaging. Yeah, it's clear. Because I can, I can see it when it go in. Okay. And it's a clear substance. Yep. Ooh, weird stuff. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, that bad. And when they start collecting, um, they want to make sure they have a certain amount of numbers. So sometimes they can, they, sometimes they can do it in a day. Sometimes it takes two days. Mm -hmm. So when they collect enough, then I can stop taking these. <laughs> Talk about Tuesday. Tuesday is going to be an interesting day, <laughs> and I also have to wake up early. <laughs> But anyway, Tuesday is a big day because that is the start of the stem cell. So they're going to be, which is why I have the catheter. So however way they choose to do this, which I'm not totally certain of just yet, but this is why I have the catheter. So I have the catheter um, placed, what day is this? Um, Today's Saturday. Saturday, but I had it placed Thursday, so that is a... Surgical procedure. Was it March 11th or 12th? March 12th. March 12th, the Thursday. <laughs> it was the, th the 13th. Okay. So it was March the 13th and I uh, had surgery at 8 a.m. that morning and to have this catheter placed. And this is how it all begins. So when they do stem cell, everything is through the bloodstream. So they have to do, they have to insert this catheter in you. Is it fun? Not at all. <laughs> it actually. Um, you kind of sore the first couple of days um, when they place this, so you kind of have to ice it down every now and then so that the soreness wears off. Thank God right now the soreness is wearing off. <laughs> <laughs> 
because it doesn't make a pleasant sleep. <laughs> and you, you have to sleep in a certain position now. Yeah, which, and I like my position to be normal. <laughs> um. So anyway, this is how they do it. So whatever one they choose to do, they are going to collect cells from me. And they're going to collect a certain number of cells. See, I'm thinking... Mm -hmm. That they're gonna take the my when I first saw it, I think they're gonna take the blood out of this one because that's red, mm -hmm. and probably put stuff back in with this one. You're like, probably right. Yeah, <laughs> like mm -hmm. it could be they could put the blood back in here. They could put stem cells back in here. They could put chemo in with that. Are they gonna do pre meds before they give you the chemo still? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, they do pre meds, which to me helped. <laughs> and so. Um, and we're praying, but this chemo um, is supposed to be a little more intense than the one I had before. So they kind of tell you about the side effects of that one. Mm -hmm. One of them is I could lose my hair. Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Am I claiming it? No. But if it happens, I'll be prepared. I, my hair used to be longer than this, so what I did do was I went to go get a haircut. Just in case, if it does happen, I won't have as much hair to lose. <gasps> if I don't lose it, that's great too. Then I'll just work on growing it back. <laughs> <laughs> and if I do lose it, I will rock a really nice wig. <laughs> or nice scarves. Then you become a scarf lady like me. And I'll order just nice scarves and ask my friends to buy them for me. <laughs> my mother says she would buy you some scarves and wigs. <laughs> and wigs. <laughs> I was like, yay, she's going to wear some wigs and, and wear pretty scarves. Yeah, so it won't be as bad. I'll deal with it. It won't be easy. None of this is really easy, but I thank God for the grace because I don't know if I can really go through this. <laughs> Girl. I'm probably a she-ro for lots of people.